All right, guys, today I want to talk about the benefits of using an Eastern forehand grip compared to a semi-Western or Western. Now, Eastern is the grip that I use, and it's not obviously wrong to use a semi-Western grip. Djokovic has it. I mean, his forehand's pretty awesome. But there are some benefits to using an Eastern forehand grip, and I'm going to go through them in this video. You're also going to see me working with one of my players on court where I change him from a grip that's quite far around to an Eastern grip, and you're gonna see how that helped him to improve his forehand. Three. Good. But if you use an Eastern grip, or even if you go towards Continental, you have to rotate the arm a little bit more if you wanna get the top spin, whereas you can get it by doing this. And this is what we're trying to get away from. So. When you move to Eastern, you actually have to rotate the arm. So it's a good training tool. But I do like Eastern because I feel like, personally, I'm hitting the ball with my hand. Yeah. So if I just think about hitting the ball with my hand and then I put the racket in it, I'm Eastern. Yeah. If I go, go semi-Western or, or Western around the racket here, this translates to that. Okay. Right? That's not me hitting the ball with my hand anymore. Yeah. So I love the idea of feeling like I'm hitting the ball with my hand. Okay. I'll do that to demonstrate. I'll have a racket and I'll use my hand to demonstrate a shot uh -huh. because the racket is like an extension of my hand. So I feel yeah. like when I'm hitting, my hand's right behind the shot and I can feel it in my hand, feel it in my fingers. Whereas when I get around the back of the racket, I'm like this. Uh -huh. And I don't have that same feeling. Yeah. So it's just, you know, if you can think about that, that contact point where you feel it in your hand you can actually get better feel of the shot and see if you can hit with Eastern even if it's a little bit even if it's further around than you feel comfortable just use it as an experiment because if you can do it with that grip then moving back slightly towards your own grip is going to feel easy see how much spin you can get with a Eastern grip there you go that looked great Let's take a look at that on camera. Yeah. Feel that bone at the bottom of your index finger. Yeah. That sits on the flat bit. On the flat bit? On the flat bit for me. Really? Okay. That's quite eastern. That's, yeah, that's very eastern. Okay. Now, you can move it wherever you want, but where usually you get right on, underneath it, right? Yeah, I was doing things like this. Very semi-western, even to this side. But the thing is, across yeah. across this, this big, you know, the back of the racket here, this yeah. flat bevel, yeah. there's quite a lot of space on that. Because yeah. if I go from the top of it to the bottom of it, yeah. I start getting semi-western. Yeah. Yeah. So you can play around. It's yeah. not like yeah. that bevel is this and that bevel is that. There's, you just move, and different hand sizes, different grip sizes. Yeah. It's like, I don't really get too fixated on where it's sitting because it can range you can look you can look super eastern on that bevel or you can look quite semi-western okay. but just play with it a little bit and the more eastern you get the more you're going to have to work the top spin with your arm i'd say in general the more yeah. western you semi-western more western you get the more your arm's gonna be bent at the point of contact. Yeah. Now, it's not necessarily the case because Nadal would be semi-Western and he's, his arm is straight. Yeah. But for bent arm players, a, a semi-Western is gonna put your arm a lot closer. When you go Eastern, it's just gonna naturally wanna stretch out a little bit further. Mm -hmm. So keep the ball away from you okay. a little bit more. And when you're trying to create space, create it that way, 45 degree angle. Because you don't create space this way, mm -hmm. you don't create space that way. You want to stretch out here on that 45 and just rotate over it. Good. See if you can dip the ball at my feet. Hit me in the toes. There you go. Oi, push that one. All right. So we got like 10 balls left in this basket. Hit these shots like you play in a match. 
but just try and borrow a little bit of what we just did. Good, that's one ball in. Two. Three. Good. It's just experimenting and, and, and as Slavi always says, it's physical education. Yeah.